Hey there everyone, welcome back to the channel. We have silhouettes! Like, uh, like I and a lot of other people, I, I'm guessing, probably assumed. Uh, we did get silhouettes, it is a special banner. We're not getting a uh, Faye channel, as far as I'm aware, this month. Uh, those usually come on even number months. Uh, which, lead, which means we're not going to get an introduction for special heroes like we have had um, for like Valentine's and uh, the 30th anniversary, things like that. This time we get silhouettes, and we get to try and guess who's on them. This one's actually pretty hard. <laughs> um, uh, I do have a couple guesses, though, for the unit on the right. Right, because everything I do is backwards up here. Um, I don't know who's on the left. It looks like a giant boomerang of some kind. Um, but I will say that the general vibe that I get from everybody is this like Hoshiden kind of uh, like Japanese style type attire um, and I, I don't know if the the uh, very obvious sword uh, sheath on the right there is actually <laughs> uh, skewing my opinion on that um, but that is kind of the vibe that I pick up, and we do have kind of a, a decent indication as to, in terms of hairline as to what the unit on the right is going to look like. But as far as the one on the left, man, I have no clue. I am completely in the dark. I have nothing to base that on. Uh, we don't. I mean, I don't. We don't even know if it's a male or female character. <laughs> like, we don't. I got nothing on the left. Um, so if you have any ideas about the character on the left or the right for that matter uh, Let me know in the comments below as per usual um, But the first thing I kind of thought of uh, When I saw this particular unit silhouette on the right was Gunthra and you can even see like right down to the tassels in the hair um, It just kind of plays very similar right and she's even got like the sword uh, that has kind of a katana feel to it, so it would be kind of similar to that, I'm assuming, or some type of saber. Uh, some type of curved sword uh, is, I'm assuming, what that weapon on the right hand is going to be. Uh, and, you know, the hair silhouette, the ties, it just it feels very New Year's Gunthra for some reason. Um, but again, that might just kind of lead into, well, it feels kind of Japanese attire-like. And of course, this is New Year's Gunthra, which they're wearing <laughs> Japanese attire, uh, so that may have something to do with it. I don't know. But that was the first thing that I kind of thought of when I saw that. Um, and then I got to, and then I got to thinking like, who, who else could we be seeing here? And particularly today during the live stream, we were thinking about units uh, that had not had base characters in the game yet, but we had a lot of alts. Uh, if you remember last year's banner, it was mostly all just kind of like new to the scene alt units. Uh, Tanith and Sigrun. Sigrun wouldn't get a base alt or base character unit until uh, the Choose Your Legends Tempest Trial deal. Um, and then uh, we also had Pent and Louise who were, you know, obviously new to the game. So uh, our, our whole banner really, uh, for the most part, well, aside from Fjorm, was pretty much just characters who hadn't been in the game yet, uh, but had like some alts. So I, I started thinking like what character would kind of fit that motif, um, but also has not been in the game yet. And I kind of landed on Seiri. And I, I don't know. <laughs> the more I started to look at it, the more I was like, well, I don't know. The hairline fits pretty well. Uh, the weapon obviously fits if they want to go for that kind of, you know, symmetry. But again, Seiri is wearing that type of Japanese aesthetic clothing, which, again, that whole this banner kind of the silhouette kind of lends that uh, feel to me. So I don't know if I'm just picking up on, <laughs> on like the vibe of the tire. Or uh, if that's like a, a genuine prediction that I have, um, but that's kind of who I'm seeing, and I'm I don't I don't know, I don't know, I I don't 
I don't get a Tellius vibe. I will say that much. I don't get the Tellius vibe. So I don't think we're looking at Tellius Brides. Um, I don't honestly feel like I have enough stored in my memory bank to really remember what everybody in uh, the older games that haven't been localized, I don't, I don't know that I know what they would look like uh, or how they could be reimagined, honestly, because, you know, the Jugdrow games, they don't really have a whole lot of updated art aside from what's already in Heroes, so a lot of that could be interpretation-based, um, which is good and bad. Bad for the sense of uh, trying to guess a silhouette. Uh, good from the sense of, hey, there's new stuff for it. Uh, so I don't really know if I can guess too much about that. So if you're a hardcore Jugdrol fan, uh, let me know if there's a possibility that anybody on here could be from those games. I feel like the character on the left here has uh, like shoulder length type hair. I'm assuming that's what that is, um, kind of peeking in between the face and the hand over here on the right side of them. Um, the hands, I don't know what it is, but the hands feel semi-male to me, and <laughs> I don't know if that's an actual thing, uh, but I just, I feel like that's a very masculine hand. <laughs> is that, is that weird? Is that a thing? Can you, is that, th I don't know, we're, we're generalizing pretty hard right now. This is not, uh, this is not very forward thinking of me. But I don't know. I feel like I feel like the left hand character is likely male, and I feel like the right hand is likely female, um, which I guess wouldn't be too crazy, considering that you know we do occasionally get male units on these banners. Um, we have gotten one, at least I think, uh, every every year since the first year, right? Just Marth and Pent. I think those are the only two. Uh, we went over this in the prediction video. <laughs> But um, I, it makes sense, I think, that they would tease a male and female unit and then just have the rest of the banner be female um, because bride banners are pretty much about the female units. Um, so yeah, I, I do definitely think we're looking at somebody who's female on the right. I think we're likely looking at someone who's male on the left. Um, which, going off of that, I don't know that there's a whole lot of male units who have that shoulder length kind of hair, like something that might hit down to the collarbone is what that looks like. Um, so maybe that helps narrow the field. Maybe it doesn't. Um, I'm not sure. I get kind of a Libra vibe, almost, but uh, I wouldn't I wouldn't bet on that at all. So so don't listen to that. Um, and and I'm look as I'm looking at it now, I'm almost thinking that these tassels down here are actually part of the like the sleeve or the dress or something that's behind uh, attire based not necessarily hair based like, I don't think they're hair based I think they might be sleeves or something like that um, but the hair definitely seems like it's long and in kind of like a like a ponytail type like a long ponytail type thing I don't know what's it called with the the Tifa hairstyle Final Fantasy 7 fans help me out what is, what is that where it's long but tied off at the back and the bottom I don't think it's a ponytail. <laughs> I don't know what it's called, but you know what I mean. You know what I mean. Um, I feel like that's the kind of hairstyle that we've got going on on the right. So, uh, I would lend that to be more of a female type character. I don't know, man. I'm really feeling Seiri. The more I think about it, the more I'm like, dude, that could be Seiri. And it would fit. Like, we would get a unit that's not in the game yet. I don't know how she did on Choose Your Legends polling. Um, but I think she's definitely more likely than Gunthra. Although we could get Bride Gunthra. I don't know. That is also a possibility. We had Bride Fjorm. Gunthra could get her happy ending too. I don't know. But if I had to lean into one guess, I would probably say it's more Seiri. The whole attire, the aesthetic, like, it would make sense if she had, like, a Japanese bride type theme going on, given her normal attire. Uh, it would make sense that she would have, like, a katana-like weapon. Uh, based on, again, her cannon weapon ring. So, um, that's kind of who I'm leaning in on. That's who I'm leaning towards. I'm leaning towards Seiri. I don't know how likely it is, but that's kind of where my head's at. So, in the comments, let me know. Who do you guys think that we have here? I think we've got Seiri. 
but I have no idea who's in the back <laughs> at all. They have a hat on, I think. I think that's a hat somewhere, where they have a very, very rectangular head, one of the two things. <laughs> Uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below or to the side or wherever they may be. If you have not subscribed yet, you might as well because we have a lot more videos coming up on Brides. We've got reactions, we've got polls, we've got all kinds of stuff from Mythic Heroes coming up soon. Uh, so be sure to subscribe and help us get to 5k because we're almost at 5,000 and that'd be pretty cool if we hit that. I'd be, I'd be excited about that. Um, but for now, that is all I have and I, I leave you with a puzzle for the rest of the night. Who do you think we have on here? Thank you guys so much for watching. Subscribe if you feel so inclined. Be sure to take care of yourselves and others in these dire times. And until then, I will catch you next time.